High school seniors have been missing big events. Today, Lowellville students started something which could become a new standard. And I found out there was an even bigger bonus for them at the end. Lowellville seniors celebrating the final day of school. Final exams were done. Distance learning was done. Time to release some energy. They normally have a walkout. Two teachers came up with the idea for a drive out. Yeah, I actually do think it's better than the senior walkout because it shows how much uh, our faculty and our community is here to support us through all this. The parade started at the school and police led the procession around town. Instead of focusing on what they were missing, these seniors embraced the idea of starting a tradition. They could make this into a thing that could be going on for a while and have the whole community involved instead of just the, the school. The town was involved, waving to the 37 seniors as they drove by, hanging out the windows or sunroofs of the cars, and soaking in the cheering, all for them. What a way to bring together a community and celebrate, in some type of normal sense, our seniors that have been cheated out of their traditional graduation ceremony. There was also an added bonus. The Lowellville Foundation had bought Chromebooks for the seniors, which they can take with them. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, nobody expected them to do anything like that, and that's something that's going to help us all next year. I know it's going to help me a lot next year at YSU. <laughs> the parade was long and strong, loud and proud, just like Lowellville is for its graduates. What a great event for Lowellville, and congratulations, class of 2020. We're proud of you. 27 First News is proud of all the graduates. Some of us have recorded special messages for you, and it will be played during the Graduate Together special, which you'll see at 8 o'clock tomorrow night here on WKBN 27.